Five-year-old Sam Hennick is like most kids. He gets excited about new toy prizes. I got two Star Wars. It's a side of Sam most people don't see because he often doesn't talk, something his mother, Julie Hennick, didn't know until Sam's teacher told her he hadn't uttered a word in his preschool class. First, I thought they were a little crazy because I couldn't believe that my son wasn't speaking at school, but he wasn't the whole year. I showed them a video of him speaking at home and they were blown away. They were just like, wow, this is a different Sam. Hennick took Sam to a psychologist and he was diagnosed with selective mutism. The American Psychiatric Association officially classified it as an anxiety disorder in 2013. It's a diagnosable condition where a child who's otherwise really chatty at home is inhibited and often unable to talk in situations like school or play dates or activities, sometimes for an entire year or years. Sam began weekly behavioral therapy. Two years later, he's functioning better. This marks his second year participating in Child Mind Institute's Brave Buddies Camp, a week-long intensive that creates a safe place for kids with selective mutism to practice socializing. Dr. Busman says not talking needs to be unpracticed. Well, imagine how many times someone might ask a child a question. Where'd you put your backpack? Did you bring your lunch today? And every question is met with an inability to answer. It becomes really practice. Selective mutism is not tied to any childhood trauma or developmental disorders like autism. It's likely a consequence of the child's environment, natural temperament, and a family history of anxiety. In hindsight, Hennick realized she struggled with social anxiety well into adulthood. Becoming a fitness instructor eventually forced her out of her shell but she says Sam's future is already looking brighter. His teachers were telling me that they're amazed that this is the same child because he was speaking, he was raising his hand. Early intervention is key. Giving children tools to engage in school, Busman says, reduces the chance they'll fall behind.